Hi. Give me a second to get set up and find the video. I'm gonna be um, doing chakra oracle cards today. I just need one sec to kind of get set up here. If you're just finding me, go ahead and drop your name if you're gonna want a chakra card or just drop a comment. Give me a minute to find this feed and share it out. If you're just finding me, go ahead and give this a share out too. I always need you guys to, it really helps get this content out. Take a second and share this out. I'm about to get started. Go ahead and drop your name if you're going to want a card. I'm going to talk a little bit about these energies because um, we do have kind of a lot kicking off at any given minute trying to do this ascension. Um, we notice that we're kind of going into the element of Scorpio. We're going to officially shift into that astrology sign on Wednesday. We have a lot of energy kind of kicking off at the moment. We have waves of energy coming in. We're already at, it's debatable if we're at a K4 or K5 index because I did see readings that said we were at both. At the least, we're currently at a K4 index. A lot of people are becoming very energy sensitive. I think we're crystallizing. We're turning into giant crystals. And as we are, we know a lot about crystalline properties. We're becoming better and better receivers. So a lot of people are becoming more and more energy sensitive as these energies are kind of coming into the planet. Um, we're kind of going into the underworld this time of year. Scorpio is amazing for assisting us with getting rid of anything no longer serving us. We know we kind of have shifted into the element of autumn and a lot of that season is getting rid of the things that we've outgrown, things that are no longer a reflection of us, things no longer in alignment with us so that we can kind of create space for something new. Let's see, we have Mercury retrograde kicking off. We can kind of feel it's kind of going into that element, which can kind of mess up things with communication. I always say this isn't a good time to be making huge decisions based around, you know, your jobs, relationships, things like that. It's better to kind of be the observer right now and kind of see where your life's at. We kind of get tunnel vision and go around in the same loop here trying to do the same thing. So this is a time where we can kind of go within and assess are things working out for us do I want to take another path maybe there's something I would be better at or something more in alignment with who I'm becoming we are going through a lot of transformation right now um, from now until the spring it's going to be huge in terms of energy as well we're noticing that the energy is just going to continue to increase coming into this planet and that is powerful for us manifesting and drawing to us the experiences that we want to have it's a really good good time to stay aligned with what it is you're trying to manifest or create to work on further healing any old wounds traumas we still have Chiron retrograde that is kind of bringing up and pulling out past issues whether from this life or past lives that we need to further heal and work on kind of transcending we have a new moon that's technically Monday so I'll wait a few days to get into that too. We also have a new moon energy and it is powerful for manifestation and transformation but I'll get into that in a couple days. So we have a lot of energy coming in. A lot of you guys have been feeling the need to rest. I always describe this as our week rest. I was resting up all weekend, so I'm here all recharged and ready um, for this energy shift. We know we're gonna have a lot of solar flare energy coming in this week as well. Um, we can expect to have a pretty high KP index on Wednesday and Thursday as well with a lot of energy coming in, kind of creating a powerful gateway. Um, we're realizing that as the veil is thinnest this time of year that we're able to tune in and perceive the spiritual much better a lot of you guys are really feeling like <laughs> extra psychically tuned in having powerful dreams messages synchronicities um, we are being guided and we are being guided to awaken more during this time we're kind of getting led back into the spiritual no matter where we are in this journey even though we're at different levels that's where it's all kind of leading us back to to ourselves to who we really are spiritually 
My link is above. I'm about to get started with cards right now. If you um, just are finding me, make sure you share this feed out too, please. Um, if you guys resonate with this stuff, maybe go purchase a class. Maybe come get a reading. All right, Serene Nadu. Hi, you're working on your sacral chakra. Desires, goals, passion, craving, and fulfillment. A lot of this is realizing that we are here to create good energy. <laughs> and when we can create that good energy, that powerful energy, you ever have those really good days where everything just aligns with you and works out and it's like nothing could go better? And then we could have those kind of low frequency days where it seems like everything's going wrong. Nothing is aligning. Nothing is working out. This is about to us tuning into our own inner power and generating more of this good energy. Then we we become very magnetic to anything that it is that we're trying to attract do more of light what lights you up have more fun that's really what we're here for to be creating fun experiences that's what the universe wants to do anyway so it can make us very powerful magnetically Emma Bagwell you're working on your third eye guidance support love signs and direction and pay attention to your dreams during this time to the messages that you're receiving to the things that you're seeing even if it's like your Facebook feed and the things that you're seeing what you're attracting in your real life these are your soul speaking to you communicating with you a projection from within right pay attention to the messages they are all around you there's signs you're being guided Susan Madsen. Yes, Scorpio season. I'm okay with it. I'm really into dreams. I just did a video in um, my group Lumerian Dream School a minute ago on dreams, the astral, other dimensions, things that you might want to be interested in going into Scorpio season and into the unconscious. Um, you guys know I do a ton of spiritual groups. I have some of those groups listed on this page and some of those are class spaces. So if you're into this space, go join those groups. Go check out the video I just did on the dreams because I'm really fascinated by these kind of things and in you know working with these things to better understand ourselves and consciousness Suzanne, you're working on your throat chakra. I know, aren't we all? It's like the empath care package. A lot of work with the solar plexus and throat chakra is going on right now, as well as the crown. Keep working on your throat chakra. That's what's going to make us powerful, is finding our voice. I can feel it. I can always feel retrograde strongly, too, because I have a moon in Gemini. And I swear, it's like every time we get close to retrograde, I'm like, okay, I just want to unplug now and go within, right? And I don't want to deal with people. Um, so we can really feel the effects of retrograde. Stay focused on being in alignment with your truth and your throat chakra expression assertiveness self-control and direction we're gonna find a lot of our power in the upper chakras now and you know we can look at the lower chakra system as the material and the upper as the spiritual and we're gonna find a lot of power in working through you know the heart chakra and above type of chakras we're all talking about accessing the fifth dimension and I don't mean these glimpses we're getting I mean actual like utopia heaven on earth that we're about to step into a lot of that will be working with the throat chakra and manifesting Paul maxed you're working on your throat chakra as well um, we have a lot more purifying and detoxing to do make sure that you guys are detoxing the body we are mind body soul components we're kind of like a three-part component that makes up our body and our frequency make sure that you are detoxing more you guys know you can always hit my business page inbox for a really good detox list of vitamins that will help you I am huge on things like chlorella turmeric for you know pulling metals and things out of the body more detoxing more purifying. That's what this energy is doing to us anyway. You're noticing that, right? We're getting hit with these waves of energy which are bringing a lot to the surface and continuing to purify us. So it makes it easier, the inner work that we're doing on ourselves doing this process. Emma Bagwell. Oh, hi. I was like, I got you. El Rizzo. You're working on your throat chakra. Communication, self-expression, exchange, sharing, and connection. Keep on working on finding your voice. Like I said, it's going to be really powerful in this ascension and unlocking other gateways. Brenda Zabel Matan. You're working on your sacral chakra. Money, finances, power, generosity, and abundance. And sometimes we get stuck in these systems with money. Yes, this is how they've been enslaving humanity. And we don't realize that we should be kind of flowing with it, right? And we have these limited lack kind of thoughts that we need to transcend, that we're meant to be in abundance. I always try to remind people that paper is, money is a piece of paper. 
that they have kind of, um, let's see, indoctrinated us into believing that these things are real and very important to us. And a lot of times it screws up our manifesting because instead of focused on, you know, like what we should be manifesting, we're focused on the money to buy that item or that we need money for this item. And it kind of kills us. Um, stay focused, stay aligned with creating. How I manifest, I always tell everyone, is daydreaming. It's simple, right? I'm a very kind of visual person. I'm in my third eye a lot. I spend a lot of time, you know, being intentional and consciously aware and staying focused on what it is that I'm trying to create. Daydreaming about that experience. Marie Pucci, you're working on your heart chakra. Emotional balance, stability, harmony, peace, and fluidity. Keep working on your heart chakra. Healing doesn't happen overnight. We had not just this life, but so many past lives of oppression and, you know, things not going as we would have wanted that we're clearing now. So this is a powerful time for clearing karma, clearing past life things. Keep working with your heart chakra. Diane Brisbane, you're working on your crown chakra, intelligence, education, knowledge, perception, and flexibility. We're going through a lot of crown chakra upgrades the past few days. Um, that is our connection to the universe, to source. Um, meditate more, be open to learning as well. So we kind of realize that we're in a school of source, that earth is a school. And once we start to have a spiritual awakening, the universe is really aligned with us going back to school and learning more about the spiritual. Stay focused. Leah Catherine, you're working on your crown chakra as well. Um, prayer and meditation is really powerful for your crown chakra. Getting outside, connecting with earth during this time is really, really powerful too. Caroline Langley, good morning. You're working on your throat chakra. Self-expression, vocalization, individuality, inner voice, and assertiveness. Keep on working on your throat chakra. A lot of you guys are manifestors and you know, you have powerful words and thoughts, right? Those thoughts are turning into things and your reality. So stay more positive and you can for sure shift everything about that, what you're attracting to you. It's that simple, right? But we had a lot of negative programming that takes some conscious work to pay attention to our thoughts and what we're putting out there. Um, stay focused on what you're thinking about. Tammy Fowler, you're working on your solar plexus, super empaths, right? I'm drawing the empaths to me because we're healers, we're energy workers on some level. So that is the type of energy, energetic dynamics that usually draw to me. Just be aware that you're taking in a lot of energy, whether it's places you're visiting, peoples, everything around you, take good care of your energy. Pay attention to your intuition, knowing, sensing, and trust. Kristen Eberly. You're working on your heart chakra. More forgiveness, healing, letting go, growth, and compassion. More work with your heart chakra. I was just talking about how we can find a lot of our abilities by, you know, working furtherly with the heart chakra. Jen Campbell. You're working on your base chakra, your root chakra. Possessions, belongings, finances, assets, and treasures. Work on being secure in your environment and where you are. Um, I've been kind of uprooted a lot lately, so it can be really powerful for me to be um, grounding into the earth and connecting with Gaia during this time, right? It's really healing for your root chakra. If anyone has like a lot of fear, anxiety, you know, it's kind of stressed out about not knowing what's coming, connect more with the earth. That will help you feel more secure in where you are. Beck Sale, you're working on your solar plexus, another empath. Um, free will, courage, willpower, and change. Watch out for control dramas, right? I know. Sometimes we draw opposite elements. So if you're really empathic and energy sensitive or compassionate, you might draw the opposite element, right? These are to balance us out energetically. Watch out for control dramas. They're very draining for empaths. They're draining for our soul, right? Things that take our power, things that put us in victim programming. Watch out for these kind of programs. Cheryl Samuels, you're working on your sacral chakra, sexuality, openness, sharing, and beauty, and honor, and kundalini energy is powerful. Um, keep working with those energies. Keep working with your sacral. I love it. She says she's excited too, right? Generators, <laughs> stay excited. You're making a contagious energy. Just the people that are awake are shifting this entire planet into higher frequencies. So we don't need the entire planet to wake up. We just need to kind of vibrate higher and we'll continue to shift this planet into higher levels of consciousness and everyone will go along for the ride. Stay lit up, stay excited. You're bringing a good energy here. Jessica Lee. 
This is our job. Um, we knew we would probably be broke quick going to Prison Planet. Before we incarnated in here, we knew there was a very real possibility we would be limited, broke, enslaved. Things might not go like we wanted, right? But we knew that we could come here and bring a good energy here. And just in doing that, just in vibrating, we could help kind of save the planet and kind of assist in a way. Keep making that good energy. Christy Mullins Butler. You're working on your sacral chakra, uh, uh, sorry, solar plexus, another empath here. Work on better boundaries, self-esteem, confidence, self-love, self-worth, and pride. This is all about us coming back to a place of self-love. A lot of times we see um, negative relationship patterns because we don't love ourselves enough to have kind of manifested the ideal partner. Work on more self-love. It will shift every relationship that you have around you, including romantic ones. More self-love, better boundaries. I love it. Jen Campbell's having a baby this week. Powerful souls are choosing to incarnate into this planet. A lot of you guys are conscious parenting. And especially the souls that would have come here um, after 2012 are powerful in this ascension. These are crystal children, rainbow children with amazing abilities. They don't have to get put to sleep and go through all the trauma in that process, right? They're coming here almost fully activated with these abilities, very multidimensional. Souls that are sent to also teach you too, right? Things people forget when they're parenting. Jen, you were working on your crown chakra. Presence, awareness, attention, reality, and connection. You know, I think a lot of babies are going to start to come through. I said last week, I think a lot of babies are going to start to come through to this planet to help um, raise up the frequency and kind of generate good energy around here. A lot of these kids are generators. They are manifestors. And they have amazing gifts. Linda Bonham, you're working on your solar plexus. You're really empathic. And suddenly I'm like, oh my God, I'm in big trouble. This is why I started doing videos. I was becoming very energy sensitive to the energies coming into the planet. And I'm just kind of trying to learn how to navigate these energies so I can kind of live my life while doing Ascension. And I kind of ended up doing these videos. It can take a minute to learn how to master these new energies. We're instant manifesting. We're taking in a lot of energy. If you're an empath, a healer, a light worker, chances are you're wide open in your solar plexus, which is how we process energy. And you're kind of feeling energy overload a lot of the time, feeling a lot of these upgrades on deeper levels than a lot of the people that are not maybe tuned into these energies. Take really good care of your energy. I'm huge on like salt baths, getting outside, grounding. Renee Michelle, you're working on your heart chakra. More love, kindness, benevolence, sharing, and receiving. And we're meant to be in a flow of giving and receiving. Um, try to give back always, right? And people say, oh, I can't. Yes, you can. You always have love. You always have energy. You always have kind things that you could do for other people where you could completely shift. Someone else's entire vibrational frequency probably with just a smile if you're out in public. Um, more giving so that you can receive more. Holly Asper, you're working on your sacral chakra. More fun, more pleasure, enjoyment, beauty, sensuality, and indulgence. And we're not really yet in that space of the now yet because we're still thinking a lot. And we need to be in the now. We need to be more mindful of the present moment and what is occurring. We need to kind of live more deeply in that present moment. Also, more fun, please. Harvey Manifest. You're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, physical health, vitality, strength, body image, and balance. I have and I continue to do a lot of work with my own chakras as well as other people's chakras. Um, we can tr transcend a lot and really unlimit ourselves by bringing more energy down to our base chakra, to our root chakra. A lot of us are star seeds, healers, light workers, and we're very in the upper spiritual chakras. And we need to bring that energy down and find balance within the material. Um, a lot of working with the root chakra, the best thing I can recommend is getting outside, connecting with Gaia, feeling grounded into those kind of frequencies of the earth. Noella Trace, you're working on your base chakra too. Get outside, take off your shoes, right? Walk around barefoot. I know that isn't easy in some places. Get outside though, connect with the earth. It's been very powerful for me to be working on and with the ley lines and to be connecting with the earth during these energy shifts. So we have some powerful energy coming into the planet right now. If you guys are maybe not feeling so hot, feeling ascension funk, getting dizzy, right? Maybe just feeling kind of out of it. Get outside, connect with the earth, get a chakra clearing. Do some energy work. It will help ground you into these new energies that are kind of coming into the planet more deeply. 
Juliet Saltmarsh, you're working on your third eye. Dreams, messages, signs, symbols, and guidance. I just did a video on dreams. I thought it was very appropriate for this energy. Like I said in Lumerian Dream School, our group, I would go catch it if you didn't see it. Um, pay attention to your dreams, the things that are coming through. Brenda Zabil Matan, you're working on your crown chakra. Faith, hope, support, miracles, and spirituality. We need to understand that we are co-creating and that we have this universal force that is capable of not just miracles, but rearranging our entire reality for us at the whim, right? And so it's very important that we are expecting miracles when we are manifesting. Manifest bigger, I always say. I'm doing a lot of affirmations in my life. I keep saying this. I'm doing a lot of affirmations in my life so I can work on the things I'm doing with my job and taking my videos next level. So I'm doing a lot of affirmations here, but they're really helpful as a tool to kind of reprogram. Stay positive. Make up positive affirmations about goals that you have. It will really help. Beck Sale. You're working on your third eye chakra. The mind, openness, flexibility, imagination, and learning. Keep on working on your third eye chakra. You guys know I do um, third eye activations as well as my site. You guys are going to find a lot of power. Our chakras will continue to expand, right? We'll continue to activate, continue to kind of going through this ascension process. Keep working with that chakra. Stay um, very positive with your thoughts though. You have a lot of power found in that chakra. Um, Christine Cook, good morning. You're working on your sacral. Emotions, feelings, expression, moods, and balance. And for the first time in a long time, we're having a lot of senses and abilities come online. So a lot of us are feeling things more deeply, right? They want to convince you in this world that there's something wrong with you if you're feeling things or if you're emotional. <laughs> Clearly, but those are abilities that are coming online when you feel things. Um, they also amplify your manifesting as well. You notice that emotions really will make you magnetic or amplify things that are going on in your life. If you can stay excited, you're going to be much better at manifesting as opposed to, you know, being at a low frequency or kind of not interested in something. So emotions are powerful kind of forces of energy that back up our intentions and whatever is going on with us. Lauren Gafford, you're working on your third eye. Visualization, imagination, focus, and manifestation. Stay focused. You have a lot of abilities. So a lot of times the things that we're thinking about, we are attracting to us and they are having a huge impact on our reality. We've been taught we can think about whatever we want and it won't affect our reality or our health, but that just isn't true, we're finding out. And that all of our thoughts are, you know, not just affecting our reality, but affecting our frequency, our body. Alicia Allen, you're working on your third eye as well. Pay attention to your dreams. A lot of you guys are going through the spiritual awakening and suddenly you're having more profound dream experiences. Something I was talking about this morning. Jenny Krokiski, you're working on your heart chakra. Keep on working on expanding that chakra. We have a lot of like, I don't even know, like just a lot of past life stuff, a lot of stuff from this life surfacing through the heart chakra. We also have a lot of collective pain that is still occurring that the divine feminine is very much connected to. Keep working with that heart chakra. Tammy Fowler, you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, grounding, nature, presence, practicality, and stability, more connection with the earth, I think a lot of the problem is that people have lost their connection with the earth, and then we look around and we see kind of a sick society, right, that's manifested, you know, you can see a lot of information that shows that the more connected we are with nature and the earth, the healthier we probably would be energetically, Kate Jennings, you're working on your heart chakra, connection, universal oneness, love, interconnection, and support. We're all interconnected on so many levels. That's what we're getting back to. And then we're going to be seeing more and more with things like quantum healing, long distance healing, our abilities to be impacting and affecting each other, tele telepathy coming online, things like that. We're stepping into a new world where, you know, we're, in a, we're aware of our energetic kind of origins and we're also able to telepathically understand one another. A lot of you guys are picking up on other people's thoughts, frequencies, things they're thinking about, things they're feeling about. These are abilities that are coming online. 
Don Corsino, you're working on your throat chakra. Honesty, truth, transparency, sincerity, and communication. Stay open with your communication. A lot of times retrograde makes us want to shut down, right? Like we don't want to talk to people. I'm not going to pick up that call. Um, stay open with your communication right now. Patty Ann, you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, action, movement, perseverance, discipline, and motivation. This is a really good energy to be moving around more in, actually. Yeah, to be moving some energy, clearing energy, getting things done. Try to flow with it. Nicole Olson, you're working on your heart chakra. More compassion, caring, empathy, acceptance, and gentleness. Keep on working on your heart chakra. Zavu Avija. You're working on your sacral chakra. We'll keep on working on generating better energy. We see a lot of people get depressed going through this matrix, which doesn't surprise me because we have been kind of cut off from the spiritual aspect of ourselves. So it's kind of part of the process. Um, and you know, you can see the opposite is true when we're making good energy. We're usually happy, euphoric, and bliss, right? Work on finding your bliss, staying lit up, doing more of what you enjoy. That will bring good energy to you, good frequencies to you. Amelia Vortex, you're working on your third eye, seeing, perspective, truth, knowledge, and clarity. A lot of you guys are getting a lot of downloads, a lot of information, seeing better and better, coming into your psychic awareness, and that is amazing. It's kind of, you know, confirmation for all of the work that we've been doing. Courtney Archer, good morning. You're working on your throat chakra. Creativity, imagination, expression, originality, and passion. You are a manifester. You are here to create. That's what will inspire you as well. Tina Pickering Skaggs, you're working on your crown chakra. Inspiration, ideas, spark, conception, and impulse. We have a lot kind of fading away at the moment, but you know, things are coming more and more into focus as well. Just kind of embrace it. We kind of learn with certain people. They play a role in our journey and we continue on in our path a lot of the time. So we have a lot changing as our frequency is continuing to change. It's going to kind of change what we're attracting to us more and more. These are good changes that are occurring. We can only lose things that are no longer in alignment with us or no longer good for us. This is a huge transformation we're all going through. We are kind of all going through this same experience because the collective will be sharing that same collective experience as well. Je um, let's see, sorry. Carrie McKenna, you're working on your third eye. Intuition, trust, insight, awareness, guidance. Pay attention to the things that are occurring with your third eye, whether it's just information you're receiving, dreams, synchronicity, number codes, maybe just an intuitive feeling or a pull. Maybe it's just where you're ending up because we're always kind of right where we should be. Pay attention to the things that are occurring around you right now. They are powerful. You're being guided. Barb Howard, you're working on your solar plexus, another empath. Responsibility, self-discipline, empowerment, reliability, and fulfillment. And we all go through that kind of victim programming and out into a different dimensional level. Uh, suddenly we realize that, you know, we've been creating everything, whether we like it or not. And we have an opportunity to create something better by becoming more consciously aware of what it is that we're trying to manifest, trying to see, trying to create. Um, this is about taking an opportunity to assess, do you continue on this path or do we choose a better one? That we always have infinite possibilities. Maybe, you know, things we could be doing things better, seeing different ways, different paths. Pay attention, you're being guided. Moonchild, you're working on your sacral chakra, relationships, intimacy, freedom, acceptance and trust. And we're coming into our power because we're coming back to our, you know, frequencies we want to be on, right? That's powerful for healing the collective, right? Because we found that when we were on everyone else's frequency, they're not that high. And that we can kind of go on our own path and vibrate a lot higher. Rhonda Clark, you're working on your solar plexus, your inner child, playfulness, lightheartedness, innocence, and wonder. We have a lot of inner child healing to do. Yes, we really do. We took on a lot of collective karma to kind of be at this place talking. More releasing. We still have Chiron retrograde, bringing up any old wounds, things blocking us from love, things blocking our finances, things limiting us. Time to let go of these things. We're ready to step into something new where we're kind of living healed and in abundance. We do have more healing 
compelling work to do though. It's not going to be something that happens overnight. We had a lot we kind of experienced and went through, but it is something that is going to bring people back together now, back to oneness. Tammy Lynn, another empath, personal boundaries, choice, assertiveness, empowerment, and authenticity. Honor your intuition. If you don't feel like doing something, please don't. It's really important that we're setting good boundaries, especially if we still have people that are kind of toxic in our lives. It's really important we're getting rid of toxic people, but if you can't, at the least set good boundaries so that you're respecting your own personal space. You'll find a lot of your power that way. Karen Avalon, you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, home, shelter, safety, nurturing, and warmth. This is a really good time to be kind of going back into the cocoon, right? We go back into the cocoon till spring, and we're kind of going through the shadow, the subconscious, so that we can bring more light to these spaces. Pay attention to your house, your space. Make sure it is a sacred space as well. We need the right environment. People are a lot like flowers, right? Growing a flower. And if we're in a toxic environment, you'll probably get sick. If you're in a really good environment or in a spiritual space, you'll probably thrive. Bring more spirituality to your space, even if it's like burning more sage, right? Burning more incense, maybe chakra tapestry, right? Bring more spirituality into your space so that you can make it more sacred. Tanya Richie Hoon, you're working on your third eye, insight, understanding, awakening, awareness, self-evaluation, and we'll continue to awaken much more because we're going to realize this is a lot like a dream experience and we can navigate this place the same way. So we are in a good space so that we can come back into our psychic and spiritual abilities and awareness and practice with them. Um, keep on working on your third eye. You'll find a lot of power through working with that chakra. <clears throat> Ada Rosaria, you're working on your base chakra, your root chakra, family, belonging, community, culture, and tribe. Keep on working on your base chakra, your root chakra. Ashley Lynn, you're working on your crown chakra, divine consciousness, interconnection, expansion, oneness, and light. Keep on working with that crown chakra. Trust the universe. Prayer is powerful for you. It's a form of manifestation as well because we're setting an intention for something. Cheryl Dooley, you're working on your heart chakra. Passion, desire, fun, fulfillment, and joy. I'm going to be um, getting off of here on that note. You guys know that you can always just find me by setting up anything on my site, and I'm here all day. Um, check out the events on this page as well as the group section. If you have not, I have two events up. I have one that I'm doing for some Hain, which will be a really powerful um, ceremony slash healing meditation. And then I also have an event where I will be live streaming from Stonehenge for um, the solstice. So I have those on the event section up here um, if you resonate with this I am manifesting students maybe go check out a class come get attuned by me